Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Suikoden 5. Alright, I'm just putting my uh, party together before we uh, head to Sable. I do wish to change my traveling companions. Let's put uh, one last person in. And the reason I'm doing this is because uh, we got a... Uh, we get a little bit of a, an amusing uh, dialogue when we put Kyle in. Ready, hit your side, my lady. Oh, and yours too, your highness. <laughs> I think he's talking about sea leads. Anyway, um... Yeah, Zarase, Vicky, Jean. Why not? Go ahead and obliterate everything that uh, uh, we face. I... Not really a fan of sea leads in combat at this point. Um, with the fact that she has a fixed wind rune, and I'm not a big fan of the wind rune. Um, kind of reduces her usefulness, I think. Anyway, uh, I gotta uh, change my formation around a little bit. Uh, what do I want? Hungry Wolf, I suppose. Although, technically, um, I do think that uh, part of the problem might be that uh, Alden and Leon are right there in that front row. I think that uh, the middle two rows are supposed to be best for uh, um, people with... I could do this. Uh, rear line plus ten mat. Sure. Let's have some fun with this one. Let's go ahead and reposition. We'll put uh, Zarase back here, and Kyle, since you're short range, you can get up there. Uh, yeah, that's, that should be good. We'll uh, play around with this uh, for a little bit. Uh, I'm not sure that Kyle has very good defense, but, you know, well, I do need to get that boosted up a bit. And he does have magic, which, I mean, he, he's not a, a pure fighter, so... Uh, let's see... Oh yeah, I'm trying to equip. Uh, let's use. Might go with Sword of Magic. I think I did give him that. Right, let's get a little bit more. And let's get uh, agility boosted up a tad. There we go. I don't think there's anything else that we need to uh, really do at this point. So, I'm not sure exactly what um, treatment does. Uh, we've got Analyze as an S on Taylor, so we don't need to take uh, uh, Lele along anymore. And uh, he is higher level anyway, so... Um, how do I actually check what the skills do? I can't remember. Um, hmm. I swear, I always forget exactly how to check this, uh, this out. I'm, I'm trying to figure out exactly what treatment does. Um, oh well. I'm kind of guessing that since healing heals us during battle, treatment uh, heals us after battle, and I'd rather have that. Um, uh, is there anything that I want to retrieve? We have a Chief's Beret on a bunch of people. Uh, I don't think it's going to be very good, though. Yeah. I can get Fire Dragon on a bunch of people. Don't care that much about that right now, though. Although... Guardian Chain... Nah. Reduces our speed a little bit. Alright, what uh, what runes do we have equipped? Flowing rune, flowing sword rune, power rune, power and sunbeam, sunbeam, blinking, and lightning, charm, magic absorb, and lightning, star, magic absorb, and rage. I think we're good. I think we're good. Um, also, uh, I did get a couple commenters who pointed out uh, exactly what... Where is it? Where are they? Uh, Saint's Cloak and Corruption Shell um, are good for. Uh, so, the Saint's Cloak 
is... Uh, requires a character to have 300 or more hit points and less than 50 uh, enemy kills. Uh, whereas the Corruption Shell is uh, 350 or more hit points and at least 100 enemy kills to equip. So that's why most people cannot use them. Do we actually get on the stats page kills? Um... So I do remember having that in, uh... So we could in three, but I don't recall seeing it anywhere here. I'm not seeing it. Well, I guess it's just going to be a case of check to see if people can equip it at this point, then. Um, I do kind of like the corruption shell a little bit better, I'll be honest. Uh, I think it's a bit more useful. Alright, Vicky, I want to go to Lord Lake. Yes, indeed. Off you go, thanks! Uh, I mean, thanks! Y you know you're coming with us, right, Vicky? Oh, that's right. Alright, uh, is there anything that I want to do in Lord Lake? I don't think so. Alright. And the way to Sable is uh, over along this road here. I don't have the uh, Champion's Rune equipped. No, I don't. Good. Of course, I could have walked a couple more steps and found that out. Hey, giant furball. What's the formation again? Formation skill? Uh, Tiger Slash. Sure. Let's have some fun. Whee! <laughs> That didn't kill it. Wow. Thanks, guys. Alright. We shall continue on to the Sable West checkpoint and get into another battle. Sounds like a uh, significant encounter. Mini boss. Razor back. Uh, let's go with the formation skill again. Might as well for encountering one thing. Nice damage that time. Nothing real good, though. Hello! Excuse me, Prince coming. Passing through. Let me through. Hmm? Hey, it's the bandits! Cease, bandits! And cease your bandit-like activities as well! Bandit-like activities. We surrender. Oh, and in broad daylight, too. Uh, you guys are gonna... You guys are getting gutsy. But it all ends here, you banditing bandits, you! Banditing bandits, huh? Um... No, wait, you have it all wrong! This is the real prince. Oh no, not that trick again. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, uh, and you're asking for it. You wouldn't happen to be named George, would you? What he said, prepare to die! Okay. We'll prepare to not die. Um... I suppose we could formation, uh, skill. Let's see, can we... I'm not sure if that's going to get the two of them. Let's... Nope. Just going to get the one. Ah, well. Uh, ow! That was rude. Well. You're going to get it now. with rage. Sure. Well. I guess that's only hitting one person. Whee!
<laughs> Still love that attack. Ah, oh, it's so good. Well, hey, how do you feel now? You feeling pretty good now? Not bad, huh? Got some spiked armor too. Definitely not bad. Always nice to end a battle on Jean. Pet, pet. <coughs> Damn it! Beaten by a horde of bandits. A greater shame I cannot imagine. I can. Being beaten twice by a horde of bandits. Call for reinforcements. I'm on it. No, wait. Is that uh, Din? I hope that's Din. No. It, oh, okay. It is Din and Boz. General Din. Boz. Lady Seelids and Leon are with him. Yep, that's the real prince. I heard it all, prince. Uh, I think you should be more concerned about the guards. Ah, that's a huge relief. Sable's got some of the biggest, baddest soldiers in all the land. You say so. Sheath your swords, men. But, General Din, these bandits... Silence! These are no bandits. This is His Royal Highness Prince Alt. Stand down, now! As you command, General Din. C can I execute them all? I mean, they did attack my royal personage. I'll do as you say, General Din. I still don't trust these guys. I'm your freaking prince! Trust him! If not me. He looks just like the bandit leader we spotted the other day. Probably just a really good disguise. If it really is a prince, then maybe the prince is just a bandit. Oh, excuse me while I face palm. No disrespect, General Din, but maybe he has you fooled too. You don't have any proof, right? You're right, I have no proof. I can only ask you to trust me, men. They're your men! Is there really that much of a resemblance? I mean, the prince isn't exactly average-looking. Thanks. Thanks, Auntie. I wouldn't believe it myself if I hadn't seen it. But even if the prince were standing right next to the bandit, I'd have a hard time telling him apart. I'm telling you, all you guys would be fooled too. Maybe even the prince himself. I don't think I would be. I, I have a l just a little bit better sense of self than that. I need to see this bandit for myself. There's no way he looks that much like the prince. Nice slow walk there, Din. Your Highness, please forgive my men. They meant they mean no disrespect. That's it's perfectly okay. They are forgiven. Off with their heads. With the constant threat of armies. And now this roving horde of bandits. How many how much you want to bet that there's only gonna be like five or six of them at most? They are a bit on edge. Please understand. Thank you, Your Highness. Oh, you didn't even give me an option. I wanted to say off with their heads. Boy, this is even worse than I thought. Now I really feel like giving that imposter a good slapping. Um, get a fish first. We should have stopped by uh, Subala's uh, fishing game. That would have been would have made it much more entertaining. And a double slapping for me. Don't forget. Oh, we should have gotten two fish for you. That would have been even more amusing. Please meet with our leader, Lord Ralbel, your highness. He awaits you in Sable. You, you guys aren't going to join me, are you? Well, maybe he can shed some light on things. Didn't join the party, damn it. Boz joined the party, damn it. All right. No, Din is actually a combat character. I don't know. I want. I want. I kind of want Kyle along. That's fine. And and now you guys are just leaving the checkpoint unguarded. Why is there a checkpoint within the kingdom anyway? I mean, I could understand if the Godwins set it up right now. And seriously, you know, you could totally, in real life, go through these uh, trees around this checkpoint. Uh, 
Oh, up the hill we go. Uh, I was looking at the uh, the map earlier. Technically, this uh, land is a lot larger than any of the previous areas covered. I think even the island nations are smaller in physical area. Although that might not be the case. Including all the, the actual full map as opposed to just like island to island type thing. Obviously, all the island, the land area of all the islands is less. I love Vicky's twirl there. It's so good. She's so cute. Yay, Vicky. Some dead trees over there. Oh, hey, uh. Killer Bald Eagle. I was uh, doing some grinding on you guys earlier. You seem to not have been pleased with uh, the fact that I was doing some grinding on you earlier. Uh, maybe you should go with magic. I say that and then I auto again. Ow! Alright, this should kill it now. Whee! I like how even in that um, that attack, Vicky still sneezes. Equilibrium and great firefly piece, that's nice. Equilibrium pieces are always uh, welcome. Don't need any more great firefly pieces except to sell. Some magic. Uh, do, 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 do. Breath of ice hits everyone. Attack. You. Their attack. Oh, uh, no, let's not do that one. Uh, let's go with. Let's go with that one. That one. And we'll go with Explosion. There we go. Way to go, Leon. Well, hmm. I suppose I could have made do with just a single, you know, single targeting spells. Oh well. It wasn't foolishness. Okay, it was totally foolishness to you use that level of magic on it. Especially considering it already got a chance to attack. Oh goody, a new town, new people to talk to. Interesting looking town. You're not going to let us use the uh, Journeyman Crystal first? That's just rude. I don't think that gates could get through... I mean, uh... I don't think that wagons could get through that gate. Look, it's Prince Ald! The Prince? Why, he's nothing but a no-good bandit! Oh, whoops, that's Town's woman. The Prince? Why, he's nothing but a no-good bandit. Hey! Hey! Off with her head! Why is General Din even being seen with the likes of him? Were he not with General Din, I'd beat the prince to within an inch of his life. <sighs> Boy, even the Godwins are more cordial than this. Unless, of course, you know, you're non-human. I'm deeply, deeply sorry, Your Highness. Please stay strong and try to ignore their taunts. Oh, don't worry. I'll, I'll totally ignore them. You know, once I crack my staff into their nuts. That kind of thing. I guess I can't quite do that to women. Wanted to talk to the people in town, damn it. Ah, uh, General Din, there you are. I've been waiting for you, sir. Hey, are you going to be uh, joining us at some point? I think you are. I brought His Royal Highness Prince Alt with me, my lord. Your Highness, Lady Leon, what a pleasant surprise. Solus Rawbell, Lord of Sable, at your service. I bid you welcome. 
Oh, it's been quite some time since I lo since last we met Lady Seelids. I apologize, it had, had to be under these circumstances. Indeed, sorry for all the fuss. No, my lady, it is I who must who should apologize. To come all the way to this remote outpost only to endure hostility from the townspeople. Please forgive me. It's not exactly your fault. I mean, sure, you could, you know, be like Captain Bright and correct the people in town a little bit when they uh, speak up, you know, speak ill of me, but other than that, you know. Now, let me inform your highness of the situation. Let me be, let me begin by saying that I do not believe the rumors myself. For one thing, what reason could his highness have for resorting to banditry? Unfortunately, there have been many witnesses to the impostor's crimes. Witnesses? Yeah, about that. See, I went out with Din and his men to go root out the bandits. I wanted to get my hands on this bandit prince and wring his neck with my own two hands. After hours of searching, we came across the damn bandits laying waste to a caravan. My eyes went straight to the ringleader, and he looked just like the prince. Just like him! If you say so. I even shouted, Prince, what do you think you're doing? Big mistake. Many soldiers saw that happen. Saw what happened. The rumor that it was His Highness the Prince spread like wildfire. And that rumor reached the townspeople. Now all but a handful are against His Royal Highness. Gee, thanks, Boz. So it was your fault, Boz? Yeah, I've been blaming myself. I feel so awful about it. Please, do not blame Lord Wilde. If he had not shouted at the ringleader first, I may have done it myself. The ringleader really does resemble his highness that closely. Hard to believe. Yeah, I'm I'm guessing that he's not actually going to be all that similar. Kind of thinking, you know, something like uh, Suikoden 2. You know, same outfit, similar weapons, but fat or something like that. You know, some other very, very distinguishing characteristic. Personally, I've wanted Sable to ally with your cause, Your Highness. I believe it's in Sable's best interest. And more importantly, you actually own all this area surrounding us right now. I'm confident that justice is on Your Highness's side. However, I cannot enforce a policy that the people do not agree with, even if I am their leader. Looks like our only option is to catch this imposter. If Ald could catch the ringleader himself, that would clear things up. Well, yes, unless, of course, they all think that he just set someone up to, to look like him, to take the blame, and while he continues the banditry himself, that, that's a, certainly a possibility. I think you might be stretching things a little bit there. Prince, let's do it. Please allow me to accompany you as well, Your Highness. We believe the bandit's hideout is in Ranro Mountain. Let's start there, Your Highness. Alright, alright. Boz left the party. I was kind of hoping that Kyle would say something. I didn't think... I, I, It was kind of a long shot, but... I was hopeful. Um, you know what? Since we haven't used him... Uh, actually, we'll do swap. Uh... Go ahead and swap them around. I suppose I could go back to the uh, castle and fill out our, our party a little bit. I might do that. I don't know. That's basically what he said earlier. Ooh, hello. Prince, Ranro Mountain is northeast of Sable. Let's get over there and teach that imposter a lesson. Yeah, but first I have to get the Fate Control Epic. So that's another epic skill. Nothing in here, right? Nope. It's an awfully big room with not much in it. Ooh, hello. Elementary magic, my dear! Ooh, is that what I think it is? I think that's what I think it is. Oh, Zarase, Tutor A. Well, time to blow some uh, uh, skill points. All right, her magic defense is maxed out. And her sword of magic is maxed out. Yeah, 
And Ald's magic is maxed out at A. That kind of sucks. Incantation maxes out at A. Sword of Magic maxes out at A. Ooh, goody. We can get Chain Magic up to A. That should be fun if we can get it to actually trigger. Uh, looks like we might be able to get that up to SS, which would be pretty awesome. Eh, might as well get sea leads up. And finally, Kyle. Alright. I don't think we had to use any, uh, party SP at all for that. Uh... to see what's actually around here that we can go into. I guess just that. Hello! Young woman. It's a pleasure to meet you, your highness. I'm Lord Solace's daughter, Celicia. Oh, it's nice to meet you, too. I hear you're going to going to take care of the bandits. Do be careful, your highness. If Din's with you, I'm sure you'll be fine, your highness. I shall do my utmost, my lady. How many ta times do I have to tell you to just call me Celicia? Ooh, do I detect something there between the two of you? I believe in you, your highness. I have no reason to doubt you at all. If father and Din trust you, then that's more than enough reassurance for me. You should come to your own decisions. Upper class lady. Ah, um, pleased to make your acquaintance, your highness. I'm Solace's wife, Melissa. Ah, nice to meet you too. Ah, I, I must apologize on behalf of the people of Sable for all the trouble they've caused you, your highness. You must believe that they're all good people, really. Please try not to be angry with them. Oh, I think it'll be fine. Uh, you know, I mean, I'll just behead any who, uh, continue to, uh, not believe me. Ooh, map. That, that almost looks like Greece and the coast of Turkey. Yeah, that's Greece and the coast of Turkey. <laughs> Wonder where the hell they got that map from. Oh, there's nothing up here? It's kind of crummy. Huh. I guess that's not the door. Alright, well, let's explore town a little bit. Oops. Uh, do they have anything good for sale? Uh, red pepper seedling? Let's go ahead and buy that. We've got, uh, cabbage seedling. Red ribbon, uh, magic plus ten. That seems pretty good. Uh, I think I'll probably hold off on buying that for now, though. Help! It's the bandit prince! Stay away from me! Do you really think that the bandit prince would be allowed to come into town? Seriously. We want to believe you, we really do. It's just that Lord Barrows was cutting some secret deals with the Armist Army, right? So that's made everyone in Sable nervous and suspicious. If you had some kind of proof you could show us, maybe that'd change our minds. Man, that's, that's pretty terrible. You're no prince. You should be ashamed of yourself. Queen Arstadt and Lord Farad were a thousand times more regal than you. If General Din wasn't, wasn't with you, I'd beat you to a pulp. I'd like to see you try, buddy. Ooh, hello. Silver Hammer! I think we will be taking a detour shortly. Is there anything back here? Other than, uh, Leon? Doesn't look like it. Ooh, rare finds. Uh, power belt. I don't think we care about the power belt. 
Uh, let's see, Dragon Scale Helm. That would be better for Din, because he's not wearing anything right now. Ninja Garb, Earth Chain Mail. Um, it's better than the ring. Spiked Armor? Oh, I picked up a Spiked Armor. Oh, well. Uh, Silver Bracer. Uh, long Range Accuracy plus 14. Might as well give this to uh, Sea Leads. He's got Gunner's Bracer. Earth Greaves. That's better for uh, Din as well. Uh, I suppose I'll buy one of these for Din. Just because. Probably have some back at the uh, castle, but uh, whatever. Uh, let's see. You can uh, actually sharpen up to level 10, and I need to do that with uh, Din's uh, weapon. But I think I'll be heading back to uh, uh, the Dwarf Cave uh, at the end of this episode, um, or in the start of the next episode, so that we can uh, give that to uh, the Dwarf there. Uh, let's see. What do you have? Why is buy all the way at the bottom, and all you have are scrolls? Terrible. Terrible! If you really were a bandit, it would put General Din in quite a dilemma. It wouldn't help his relationship with Lady Celicia either. Lady Celicia has nothing to do with this matter. Can you not refrain from this mindless gossip? Oh, General Din, I'm so sorry! <laughs> That's what I thought. Thought there was something there between the two of you. Uh, let's see. Sugar, salt, soybeans, vegetables, fruit, wheat, rice, spices, and iron. Hey, hey. I don't like the idea of General Din being taken in. I prefer to reserve judgment. You say anything different? <laughs> Who cares about bandits? I just want to know all the hot gossip about General Din and Lady Celicia. Well, at least she's not uh, opposed... I'm not doing that. Interesting. I uh, got nothing to appraise, so... Not much there. Pretty sure the end of the episode has passed. Uh, I'll just finish talking to people in here. Uh, I don't need to... Uh, well, in, in town, I mean. I need to... Stay at the inn. Hello, Your Highness. It's all right. I know Your Highness is no bandit. I'm sure it's all a Godwin plot, Your Highness. I excuse me? Him? He's an armist soldier. An armist general by the name of Jidan Gisu. Gisu? 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 I don't know. Whatever. Allied, allied with Lord Barrows and invaded. This man fought under General Gisu. He nearly gave his life to ensure his general's safe retreat. Apparently, he fought heroically and brutally. Although he's an enemy, he's an honorable soldier, so Lord Ralbell and General Din asked us to treat him. But he's been asleep since he came in. That makes it difficult to determine how he's doing. Hmm? Poke his wounds. I hate Armist scum as much as anyone, but I don't think I'd be able to live with myself if I refused to treat a man in need. Well, that's nice. Yep, just sleeping there. He's got a portrait, though, so clearly we'll be able to do something with him. Wait, does this lead up the mountain? I'm not sure. We will look out that way in the next episode, I think. Uh, let's just finish talking to the people in uh, this section of town. Get out of here, birds. Damn bandit! Get out of Sable before I force you out! Go now! Go! You're not, you're not going to say anything, Din? Thanks. I appreciate that, Din. Glad you are sticking up for the uh, the prince of your, your kingdom. You know. Let's see. Was there anything else down here? Uh, thanks, game. I don't really need to train. Well, actually, I do kind of need to train Din, but uh, I'll run back to uh, the castle to do that. Can we do anything down here? Nope. 
Hey, kids. Eek, mommy, bandits, bandits! Thanks, little girl. Hey, bandit prince, I'm gonna beat you to a pulp. Come on, bam, bam, bam! This isn't a Flintstones cartoon. Meow. Nothing there. Hello! Crown of Destiny! Ooh, I like the sound of that. Uh, physical defense plus 14, hit points plus 10. This is probably not all that good. It is better for the people who have wizard hats, but... I'm not planning on uh, getting rid of the wizard's hats. Alright, I'm guessing that that goes to... Uh, oh, there is a treasure chest up there. If you go through here, you'll soon come to the Armist border. It's been sealed shut ever since Lord Barrow's dealings with the Armist army, though. I wouldn't normally say a word to the likes of you. You should be very grateful to General Din. Totally gonna smack you in the nuts with my staff. Can I actually go through here? Nope. All right, well, since it looks like all that's up on the uh, the wall is a treasure chest, let's go grab that, and then we'll end the episode. And in the next episode, I will run back and uh, turn in this hammer to the dwarf. Spend some of our cash. Oh, that's right, I need to go up this way. Spending cash is always good. I'll have to go make uh, Cornwall tribute tributary again, though. Get some more cash. It's an odd place for a treasure chest, I just want to point out. Obtained Old Book 8! Sweet! Alright, and with that, we'll call this an episode. In the next one, we will make our way up the mountain. Uh, not actually sure exactly where that mountain is, but uh, we'll figure it out then. After we... Uh, and in a hammer to a dwarf. See you then, everyone.